Hey, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the freezer light switch on the Samsung refrigerator. We need a few different tools for the job. We'll leave those listed in the description below. Let's get started. For this repair, unplug or disconnect power to the refrigerator. The first thing that you'll need to do is open up the freezer drawer. Next, remove the upper freezer tray assembly by pushing it to the rear, lifting the wheels out of the slots, and then lifting up on the front to remove it. Next, remove the freezer box tray by tilting the rear and pushing back to remove it from the front slot. Then tilt forward and lift up to remove. Next, remove the four 10 millimeter bolts. There are two on each side. Next, we can remove the freezer door by grabbing both sides, lifting up to remove the door brackets from the slide rails, and lifting out to remove. With the door removed, make sure the freezer slides are fully extended to give you easier access to the light switch. Using a tool with a thin flat edge, Insert it into the front of the switch to release the locking tab, then pry out to remove. Now pry the locking tab to release the electrical connector. If you have a bad light switch and you need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You'll want to make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on your refrigerator to make sure you get the correct part. If the light switch fails, it can cause the lights in the freezer to not turn on or the fan motor in the back of the freezer to stop running. To install the switch, make sure the tab on the electrical plug is aligned with the notch on the switch. Then push together until the locking tab snaps into place. Next, tuck in the wires, then insert the electrical plug end of the switch first, rotate, and snap into place. Next, reinstall the freezer door by aligning the tabs on the door brackets with the slots on the freezer glides, and setting in place. Now reinstall the four 10 millimeter bolts. Next, reinstall the freezer box tray by inserting the back first, tilting the front forward into the slot, and then setting it in place. Next, reinstall the upper freezer tray by tilting in the rear and setting it down onto the freezer box tray. Now push it to the rear and then pull it forward to make sure the wheels are locked in place. So that's it for this video. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, let us know in the comments below.